What's going on everybody? It's Ricky with Video Homicide back with day 12 of the 31 Days of Horror 2022 edition. Today we're going to talk about 1981's Madman, uh, directed by Joe Giannione, uh, starring Galen Ross from Dawn of the Dead. This is the only other film I've ever seen her in, which is insane because I thought she was really good in Dawn of the Dead. Uh, this movie is sort of a, you know, run-of-the-mill early 80s slasher film. Uh, not too, too much to it. I did have a lot of fun watching it, though. There was some good kills. Uh, I liked the bad guy, this Madman Mars guy. Uh, you know, the movie kind of starts off like the burning in a way where it starts off like campfire stories being told. And then, uh, you know, it just so happens to be like right fucking like 25 feet away from the house where all this shit happened. Where Madman Mars killed his whole family and then went to the fucking bar in town and, and had a beer and then was arrested and all that shit but uh basically there's it, it, it's kind of following the same formula that a lot of these slasher films follow uh there, there's not a whole lot of downtime in this downtime in this film which i appreciate uh there's a lot of uh really cool shots uh, the thing is though it's really lit like they lit this fucking movie like they're out in the middle of the woods and they just put like a huge spotlight boom and there it is which isn't a problem but I kind of like some atm atmospheric lighting uh, from time to time in a, in, a, in a campground kind of setting or, or a woodsy setting but I think this movie is a product of its time right so you got to think about what was coming out at the time we had Friday the 13th we had Maniac uh, you know 1981 mind you 1980 held is the year that had so many good goddamn movies that it was only you know it, it, it was only logical that that movies were going to follow suit or people were going to copy the formulas and stuff like that which is the same with a lot of stuff you look at a lot of giallo films you get the same kind of you know uh themes and textures or not textures but you know just like plot devices or whatever you want to call it man i just think that with a movie like Madman, is it better than Friday the 13th? No. Is it is it on par with movies like The Burning and shit? Fuck yeah. You know, I think The Burning is really good. And, you know, even though The Burning does have like a lot of slowness to it and different things like that. It's not the best thing since sliced bread and neither is Madman. But I think Madman is decent because we do get a lot of like really cool uh, beheadings and stuff like that. One of my favorite beheadings was when uh, this girl who's driving this shitty truck that were... And it's crazy because at one point she fixes the truck with a screwdriver. You know what I mean? Like, could you imagine that now if you could just go out to your car when it's fucked up and just, oh yeah, I fucking, with, with a fucking flathead and just bop, bop, bop and it's running again. So they kind of set up that, that deal where this truck had to be fucked with. So she's under the hood of the truck. She hears something. She kind of looks around, goes back to it. Madman Mars jumps off the hood and on top or like jumps onto the hood and crushes this chick's head boom fucking clean off heads left in the top of the car uh th he has this thing about dragging the bodies away which is something he did when he killed his whole family uh, which is cool because you kind of get to see the family get killed you know in sort of like an amityville-esque way with an axe though um it, it, this is totally unrelated but in the shining there's what when that guy tells a story to jack torrance he's like yeah you know he killed his family and stacked the pieces neatly in, in one of the hallways in the west wing like he stacked them neatly i don't know why that always fucking makes me chuckle but um i just love this because he's madman mars like stores all these bodies in the basement of his old home and it's funny because he has like these big fake fucking feet and you can tell they're like totally phony feet uh barefoot like sort of madman like the madman mars himself is just like this total like hillbilly kind of guy with like long gray he looks like a monster really and there's a lot of good fucking moments in the film where like a guy will like look at the window and like the guy's face is there for a second and then of course like a light gets turned on or something or whatever or like later on galen ross like thinks she sees something even though she clearly saw something and she just goes oh never mind and then 10 minutes later i knew i seen something blah 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 all this shit like galen ross gets a good death in this film too uh, she gets sort of the old Texas Chainsaw Massacre treatment, like, put up on a hook, which is always good. Love that shit, man. I, I love stuff like that. I think I took a couple of notes while I was watching Mad Men. I usually do that now, especially with 31 Days. <laughs> and, of course, I didn't. I just wrote down the name Mad Men in the fucking note. But it was, it was decent. It was decent. It's available on YouTube. It, like I said, is it great? No, it's not great. But I'm glad I watched it because it was a decent 
you know, worth it slasher. We did get to see, you know, a guy get hung, choked. Like, there's a crazy part where this guy, he gets hung. And then, that because that's what ended up happening to Madman Mars. Madman Mars was hung by the fucking, you know, torch, pitchfork and torch wielding mob. So, this guy, he gets hung. And then, like, he kind of saves himself by, like, pulling himself up. And then, Madman Mars just, like, fucking pulls him. And the guy's neck breaks and it was really cool stuff so i appreciate a movie that that tries with like a low budget and that's what the 80s were and this is what i was talking about in the last video man how many of these new modern fucking films that have like a decent budget but there's like no real blood in the film look at madman they fucking the, the budget was probably dick man it was probably let's see let's see if uh if i can find it real quick here um the budget was fucking $350,000 and they did all that. There's like cheesy kills. There's a cheesy fucking brutal uh, slasher guy. You know, you, you get like the good campground setting. I, I love, you know, I don't know. I just love when, when you can tell that they tried or there was some passion behind it and not just like a bunch of fucking hipsters standing around and like if a guy's like pouring a cup of coffee Instead of just like a guy pouring a coffee and that's it, some guy's gonna be like, really? You're gonna pour a cup of coffee? It's like, shut the fuck up. God damn, the state of horror. Sure, we're getting good stuff every once in a while, but we're getting so much shit constantly that my eyes are from went from blue to brown. So, again, I appreciate everybody for watching. I know it keeps turning into a fucking rant today, but uh, it's just the way I feel, man. And I think that I'm not the only one that feels this way, so... Um, Definitely leave a 666 in the comments. And with that being said, have a great happy Halloween. Safe. Stay away from those dog shit fucking straight to video fucking horror films that make me want to puke. I know a lot of, there's like, they're meant for some people. They're not meant for me, man. And that's a fact. So have a great night. Adios.